Hey everyone, Gretchen Wegner here. I just had a really fascinating um, session with a client yesterday that I wanted to tell you all about. In fact, uh, this particular client texted me after our session and said, oh, that was one of the most productive sessions we've had. So what did we do to make it so productive? This is a college student. Uh, she's really struggling with her schedule this particular semester because she is, um, she has big blocks of time without anything uh, to do. You know, she has classes on certain days, but there are other days when she just has a lot of open time and she's noticing that she's frittering, frittering it away doing, she actually doesn't know what, probably a little online, a little TV, a little art, a little just hanging, hanging out. And so we actually, on um, our Google spreadsheet, that we work with made a schedule for her. And of course, whenever you make a schedule, you're never gonna stick to it 100% of the time, and that's okay. I have a lot of clients who are scared to make schedules because they think they should stick to it all the time. Uh, but this is a general guideline, and we're gonna try and move her in the direction of this guideline. I've posted a screenshot um, if you are a uh, member of my uh, newsletter list, you will actually see an e-shot of the schedule. Um, but for now, what I just want you to notice is we have her waking up at a regular time, actually even all the way through Saturday and Sunday, although you can't see that here. Um, we also have her getting out of the house at uh, the same time every day. And uh, regardless of whether she has class or whether she's going to go work at a cafe. And then we also um, have scheduled the yellow is her downtime. Um, we know that right away we're not going to be able to take away a lot of her downtime, so we've scheduled it in so that she knows for sure it's there. She's most productive in the evenings, uh, so that's when we scheduled her homework time, but we also made sure that she's getting to bed fairly early by 11 o'clock or so instead of the midnight or one that she's used to doing. So a schedule is great, but how do you follow through with it? She created a checklist for herself. And in this checklist, you'll notice that we have four, only four parts of the schedule that she definitely wants to keep on doing. And uh, then we, so for example, did I leave the house by 9.30 a.m.? And then we have a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and she can check off the days that she actually left the house by 9.30 a.m. And then she's gonna share her um, checks with me at our next session. So I'm curious what you do to um, make sure that your time has shape to it and to make sure that you follow through with the things that you know are most important in your schedule. I'd love for you to let me know. And if you're not subscribed to my newsletter list, please do so. There is a link below as well and you will get to see lots more information than show up on the YouTube channel. So take care, bye-bye.